Hey guys, it's Fiery Red Hero 8 here, and this is Pokedex entry number 5. Despite class being a day late, the class will still go on, so grab your notebooks and your Pokedexes. We're going to start off today with Doduo, which is a normal flying type, and he evolves into Dodrio at level 31. The key stats for both Doduo and Dodrio are attack and speed. And despite its appearance, it has no wings, but it can fly. So maybe it uses its heads as wing it, its heads as wings and flies. I don't know. But yeah, I've never really used Odrio before, but I don't think it's that bad of a type. Ghastly, however, I have used. It's a ghost and poison type, and it evolves into Haunter at level 25, and then you would trade it if you wanted a Gengar after that. Special and Speed are the key stats for the Ghastly family. And as a Ghastly, yes, the other stats are low, but they beef up with evolution, as is normally the case. So yes, it'll special is its good, the good moves you want to get when you have a Ghost type or have Ghastly, and it's fast enough that it can get some shots in bef before it goes down. At least if it's a Ghastly, I've had Haunters on my team before, and they're pretty good. I'm, but as far as physical defense, it's not very. It doesn't stand up to that much, but. It, it can dodge normal moves, and I believe fighting type moves. However, I could be wrong on that one. Okay. Cubone is a ground type, and it's very defensive. That's its key stat. It evolves into Marowak at level 28. And when it evolves into Marowak, it also gets attack as a key stat. And its HP isn't that bad either. Other stats are low, but it's good physically. Let's just put it that way. Dratini, a dragon type is the only dragon family in genera Generation 1. Evolves into Dragonair at level 30, and then into Dragonite at level 55, so it takes a long time for it to reach its full potential. Its key stats, um, as a Dratini, it's balanced mostly. Attack is a little higher, but its stats are mainly low, so it's, it'll take a little while to train it up to a Dragonair. But then, um, and it's still balanced, when it's a Dragonair, obviously the stats of people have beefed up. The attack is the highest stat when it's a Dragonair. And then, when it becomes a Dragonite, its key stats are attack and special. So it, it's, a good, it's good for attacking physically and specially. But um, overall, Dragonite is balanced, which I know I just said that attack and special, but it's got good stats. Otherwise, I think the only thing that's really low on the stat list for Dragonite is its speed. So that... I don't like having low speed, but I mean, it's not bad. I actually do have a Dragonite on my White 2 version right now, so not bad. Scyther is a bug and flying type. It doesn't evolve in this generation, and its key stats are attack and speed. Um, all of its stats really are balanced except for the special, and it doesn't learn any bug moves in this game or in this generation. And it also, but it, however, it does learn the move Slash at level 29 and Wing Attack at level 50, but it only learns Wing Attack at level 50 in yellow from what I what I saw. So Slash is a good move to have, and it's a good fast Pokemon. Pinsir is a bug Pokemon, and it does not evolve in this generation. I don't think it has an evolution, but I don't know all the evolutions, so I could be wrong. And it's, uh, it has attack and defense as its key stat, so it can hold its own and it can also dish out damage. Porygon is a normal type, and it evolves, it, or it doesn't evolve, it does not evolve in this generation. Its stats are balanced, um, it's a little on the slow side, however it does learn Psybeam at level 23 and try attack at level 42. So that's not bad, that's not bad moves to learn in Gen 1. Snorlax, who just got away from us the other day, does not evolve in this game, and even so it would have been a final evolution, and its key stats are HP and attack, so I was wrong in the last episode where I was saying that it's defensive. It's not so much defensive, but it has a lot of health, so that's why it, was taking, it wasn't taking as much damage. The only reason I did was because of Razor Leaf, but... Uh, never fear, there is another Snorlax, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a shot at catching that one. I well I do want to catch it, but don't worry. I will save for that point. At least I hope to. I just I get skittish when it comes to I get skittish when it comes to saving because there's no way to recover any file if I save over it, even in practice. And last but not least, I can't believe I haven't announced this one, is Raichu. It's the evolved form of Pikachu, but as I have explained, 
Raichu, you cannot you cannot evolve your Pikachu in Pokemon Yellow. The only way you can get a Raichu, I believe, is if you trade over a Pikachu and evolve that one, or if you just evolve it straight up from Red and Blue and um, trade it over that way. But, however, I will go over it. And its key stats are Speed, Special, and Attack. Its HP and Defense are not that great, as we already know. Pikachu's Defense and HP are not that great either. However, it's fast, and it can dish out both types of damage. So... There you have it. It's another short Pokedex entry because now we're starting to... We're not running into as many Pokemon now, or if we are, then it's more of the common types we've already covered. So, I thank you for being patient with me. I know I didn't get this up last night, and I'm sorry for that. But, like a college professor, I didn't announce it on my Facebook until way late. So, yes, that's usually where I will post. If I don't post, like if I don't post something, I'll usually put it up that night on Facebook to let you guys know. So that's another reason to go like it. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you enjoy the rest of it, and I will catch you guys tomorrow in the next episode. Peace out.